Meteorologist Jeff Coulson with Environment Canada. Jeff, thanks very much for taking the time. My pleasure. Jeff, I uh, just want to look ahead to what we are expecting for March. Uh, we're seeing a bit of an up and down right now, warm and cold, but um, uh, hearing it might be a bit warmer than usual. Can you kind of lead us through that? Yeah, we're, we're seeing a pretty dramatic shift in the weather pattern from the cold temperatures that a lot of Ontario experienced during the month of February. In fact, not even just Ontario, but a good chunk of North America was colder than normal. Uh, radical shift in that pattern, and it really looks like it's going to peak uh, next week. So from roughly uh, March 8th to the 15th, uh, a lot of the models are coming into agreement saying we're looking at uh, much above normal temperatures uh, for that week, uh, though it may be a little wetter at times, especially towards the uh, the end of that period. So in terms of, um, you know, how this usually looks in the spring weather, is this is this normal or is this an ab abnormal situation for our, our moving into spring? Yeah, a fairly normal situation given the fact that uh, both of our transition seasons, both the spring and the fall, is a time where we've got air masses really battling it out. You've, you've still got a lot of potential for those cold air masses to come, come down from the far north and influence the weather. But more and more as we get into March and April, uh, the air masses coming up from the American southwest and the deep south start to play a, a bigger role in what our temperatures are going to do. And certainly next week with a uh, a large area of high pressure uh, just to the uh, east of us, uh, winds coming up from the south. Uh, that's going to be a big factor in, in pumping the temperature up. Jeff, we've had a massive amount of snow in the last couple of months here, uh, making up for what we didn't have last year. Um, would we see a continuation of precipitation, obviously, moving into rain in the next couple of weeks? I think the concern, yeah, so for, for next week with the milder temperatures, it looks like uh, uh, most of the precipitation will be in the form of rain, uh, perhaps uh, a mixture of rain and snow in the overnight or early morning hours. Uh, and then later on in the month, we are expecting temperatures to get back to more seasonal values. And so that, again, brings up the possibility of, of more in the way of uh, snowfall. So that leads to my next question, which would be um, how, I guess, concerned should we be about flooding at this point? Um, are, we, are we seeing a trend that we could be seeing a, a quick and, and dirty flood, or is it going to be kind of a gradual thing this year, do you think? I, I think it's a little too early to tell. Uh, we know from, from past year's experience that it tends to be the month of April uh, where the large-scale flooding concerns tend to really uh, arise, and we do get... Uh, the snowpack uh, melting, we perhaps get rain adding into that. As we go forward over the next couple of weeks, certainly we're going to lose a, a chunk of the snowpack next week with those milder temperatures and some rainfall. But then with seasonal temperatures coming in after that, perhaps to finish off the month, uh, that may slow the process down a bit, uh, only then to go back into it in April when we are expecting a return to uh, above seasonal temperatures. So I think it's probably going to take another couple of weeks before we get a better handle on uh, uh, what potential uh, flood season we could be dealing with. Fantastic. Well, I'm uh, hoping for more warmer weather here again. Jeff, thanks very much uh, for taking the time. Always appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.